everybody tech king mike back again with another video and today we got a quick top down video for you guys we are unboxing the galaxy watch for classic now i was able to pick this up from the verizon store this will run you 429.99 for the lte model variant but let's go ahead and crack this thing open and take a look inside of it and as you can see when you open it up you are greeted with a nice little samsung uh I guess we'll call it an insert here full of packaging and stuff like that. There are no extra bands in the watch. So we'll go ahead and take that and put it off to the side. And here we have the watch itself. So let's go ahead and take this out. And there's nothing else in here, so we'll put that to the side as well. And let's just have a look at the watch and take a look around it. So as you can see, it's a lot thinner profile this year than previous Galaxy watches. I actually like that. You also get the Qi wireless charging on the back so it can charge on any wireless charger, but I do have the Samsung Trio charger so I do able to charge the watch, the phone, and the buds, the holy trifecta as you would call it. So like the band on this thing, as you guys can see, we got the medium to large band. This is the 20 millimeter band. This is the 46 millimeter version of the watch. And as you can see the little red ring there means it is the cellular version. So let's go on ahead and power it on. Let's give it a little bit of juice. And let's see, let's go ahead and get it set up here. And I'm gonna get it set up and synced up with my phone. And once it gets set up and synced with my phone, we'll go from there. So as you can see, we got the Samsung logo. Now, what are some things that are different this year compared to the Samsung Galaxy Watch 3? Well, for one, you get double the storage on the internal. So you got 16 gigs instead of eight gigs this year. You also come out of it with uh, Wear OS 3, so you got new software built into it. Samsung and Google have partnered up to kind of really make this thing a feature-centric watch. And of course, as you can see, you still have that rotating bezel, baby. So obviously, one of the cool things about the Galaxy watches, I've always enjoyed the Galaxy watches compared to an Apple watch because it looks like a watch. I know that might sound like a weird thing to say. And, you know, if you want a real watch, go get a real watch. But it looks like a regular watch. It doesn't look like you know, a smart watch from a distance. I'm not really sure how I feel about this band leaving that gap there in between. Like, as you can see, there's a gap there between when it's uh, flat. That may be a little bit of an issue for me over time because as you can see, it kind of has the stretch to do. So I'm probably gonna order some bands online and just kind of take that off and replace them with some different bands. But in the meantime, let's go ahead and get this Galaxy Watch set up and I'll show you that process now. All right, so when you're setting up the Galaxy Watch, what you really want to do first is you want to go on ahead and power on your device. And as you can see, it's already showing up, Galaxy Watch 4. So we're going to go ahead and hit connect. So now the watch is going to connect to the phone. So you see the pin number is 355-979, 355-979. So we're going to hit confirm. We're going to hit confirm there. And so now that both of them are paired, check your phone to complete the setup. So we'll go ahead and put the watch down. So it's downloading the software for the watch on the Galaxy Watch plugin on the wearable app. So you can see that this is a very quick, very smooth process. So we'll go ahead and put the phone down. And now we just need to do agreement. Do okay, link to the watch. We'll do stay connected with Wi-Fi LTE. And we'll do the location as well. We'll hit continue. And so now it's going to be doing an update for the watch. So we'll let this update finish. And when it's done, okay, so now that the watch is set up, it's asking for a Google account. So I'm going to go ahead and hit continue as Michael. We're going to hit copy the Google accounts to the watch. So I'm going to use my fingerprint to secure that. So now it's getting my Google account info. So it's going to add all of that to the watch. And as you can see, the watch is still kind of sitting here chilling. Just check your phone to complete setup. So most of what you do to set the watch up is going to be done on the phone. So once this is all done, getting my Google account and setting everything up on the watch, we should be going to the next step. So I'm going to go ahead and let that finish. And now, as you can see, you can restore your watch from a backup. I don't have a backup, so I'm going to skip. We do have a mobile plan for this watch. I do have the plan with Verizon that gives me mobile service. So I will hit next to connect that. And as you can see, it says connecting to your service provider to start setting up, find out more about your plan. So this process will normally take a few minutes or possibly a, you know less than that, as you can clearly see. So we'll go use your Verizon plan. 
And while that is setting up at the top, you see that bar going across the top, so that's how you know it is setting up. So we'll let that finish setting up, and then once that's done, we should be ready to wrap it up, but in case not, we will go from there. All right, so now that everything is all finished and set up, as you can see, we got the app set up here with the Galaxy Wearable. So let's go ahead and take a look at the watch, and as you can see, it says, take a tour of your watch. So let's hit the start button there. So as you can see, it's going to give you a quick tour, so we're going to swipe down to open up the quick panel. So let's swipe down and open up that quick panel. And we're going to swipe up to go back to the watch face. And we'll swipe up from the bottom edge for the apps. Now, I'm not really a fan of this app layout. I kind of wish it was more of a grid or a side to side, but it is what it is. You can't really do too much about it. So we'll swipe down and go back to the watch face. And then now, for your notifications, you'll swipe right. This is where your notifications will be. So we'll tap to open the notification, as it says. So then it says swipe right from the edge to go back to the previous screen, just like on your phone. And then we'll swipe left to go back to the watch face. And then now we'll swipe left for the different tiles that you get. So we get daily activity, we get steps and a few other things. Following the instructions, press the home to go back to the watch and that's it. Enjoy your watch. So this is the Galaxy Watch 4 powered by Wear OS in partnership with Google. Samsung and Google, I really feel like they did a good job with this watch. It feels solid. Can't wait to report back on the battery life of this thing, especially with the cellular model. So this should be pretty interesting. The Galaxy Wearable app, however, is where I think this really shines because you get so many features in this thing. You get watch faces, your apps, your tiles, your quick panel, watch settings, find my watch, everything. And as you can see, you have a nice, nice wide array of watch faces to choose from and there are more in the Galaxy Watch store so there's plenty of watch faces to choose from with this watch. So if you got yourself a Galaxy device and you want to keep it in the family with the ecosystem of Galaxy products, I don't think you're going to be able to go wrong with the Galaxy Watch 4. So this is quick unboxing and overview of the Samsung Galaxy Watch 4. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you leave a like, comment down below and subscribe to the channel if you're new here for more content and I will catch you guys on the next video. Peace.